Yeah, so we have taken out the uh, the radio tower, or at least we've done all we can there for right now. We're gonna need to go to the basement in order to get the card key if we want to proceed any further. So, do you remember how to get down there? Yeah, it's where you went to get your outfit earlier. Except this time we get to go to that door that was mysteriously sealed on the southern side of this. And on our way there, we're going to run into one of those kimono girls. Uh, Rocket members in black suits are running around. You look impressive. You may be able to face the legendary poke- Oh, wait. Ha <laughs> ha, never mind. I must go now. Well, that was weird. I don't know what she's all about, but whatever. They're so odd showing up when you least expect them. So with the basement key, we can open up this door and then see what's waiting for us down here. Now make sure your Pokemon are fully healed before you head down here because you are going to have to fight a fairly tough fight. Uh, I'm not going to spoil who you're fighting right now, but you'll see. It's not this guy, I'll tell you that much. This guy, he's just a just a pushover. Look, he has one Pokemon. You know what it is? It's a Rattata! Because we just can't get enough Rattatas in this darn place. What is with Team Rattata? I mean Team Rocket. Urk, yeah, you think you're cool, huh? Yeah, I'm cool because I'm not using a Rattata. Your Rattatas are all in the bottom percentile. So anyway, as you show up here, Silver, or your rival, he's going to show up and he's going to want to... He's gonna want to fight you, finally. He wanted to beat me after Lance, but now he's gonna repay his debts or something. So whatever his cause, Silver, your rival, he's gonna take you on right here. And he's got five Pokemon on his team. The one he leads with is a Golbat, and it's level 32. So finally something that's almost a challenge for you to take on. I'm gonna use some Zen Headbutt, show it who's boss. Use my cow to take it out. Not quite enough to actually knock it out in one hit, but it still did a pretty good amount of damage. I think I've got this one. Yeah, go Daisy May! Okay, so that's out of there. Um, great, she gains a level, level 36. That's kind of where you want to be at this point, somewhere in the low to mid 30s, depending on how many Pokemon you have on your team. All right, he's sending out his starter Pokemon for Lava. So this will be the middle evolution of whatever he started with. Thankfully, it's not the top evolution. It's just the middle one. Um, not an issue because Lava can't evolve until, I think, level 36. It's, if, uh, if he had a Croconaw, that thing could actually evolve to level 30. But whatever the case, he's only going to use his middle evolution right now. I took that thing out with no problem, but remember, it will be super effective against the, um, the starter you're using, so make sure you have something to counter that. So, take that out, and he's going to send out a Haunter against me. Again, the order he sends out his Pokémon in, it depends on what you're sending out, so he tries to get super effective stuff. So, that's why I'm seeing this Haunter. But, I've got a cow who's totally immune to those ghost-type annoyances. And it can use Psychic-type attacks to capitalize on that darn Poison-type of that Haunters. I know, so silly, right? Okay, a Sneasel. Now that's one of his cool Pokémon. I like Sneasel, it's cool, and I think this is the first time you'll have seen a Sneasel in the game. It's very fast, and it has pretty darn high attack, but it is a Glass Cannon. This thing has virtually no defense. Now I know I'm sending out a Grass-type against an Ice-type here, because it is Ice-Dark-type. But, its Ice-type attacks are all very weak, so... And I don't even think it has any right now. So it's not really that big of a deal. I just want to give Maryland a little experience, because he's been missing out on what seems like everything. There's too many Poison-types around here, man. I don't want to be sending out a Grass-type against all those. Yeah, the... The problems of starting with Chikorita, huh? Well, Chikorita's pretty much hard mode. And for a reason to fight so many poison and bug and fire types and stuff throughout the game. And even this Magnemite I can't take out with Maryland. Such a pain. Okay, switch out. I'll send out Mind Games, which may seem counterintuitive, but knowing I don't really have any ground-type attacks to take this thing out with... Hey, hey, why so serious? Why so serious? <laughs> oh my goodness, he made a reference. I don't believe it. Oh, so I'm going to use Surf take this thing out in one hit, knowing that it doesn't have a resistance to water. That's why I sent out Slowking. And also because she's pretty good at special defense. Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease on the gas! 
Wow, he didn't ease on the gas. I don't understand. Is that that? Is that what that Lance guy said is true? Do I lack all this stuff? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna give up. I want to be the world's best Pokemon trainer. That guy's just weird. He shows up and acts like he owns the place. And then he just leaves. Leaving you to fight a million rocket dudes. Open one door, another closes. Best bet you can't guess where you want to go. Oh, I know exactly where I want to go. I want to go away from here, man. But I have to fight you. Oh, a muck. It's only level 23, though. What a rip. Jeez. I don't understand why they keep using such low-level Pokemon at this point in the game. It's so frustrating because you want to get some experience. Uh-oh, I was sunk by indecision. Okay, maybe you were. Whatever. How do you even get a muck at level 23 anyway? Or how did that guy get it? Sounds kinda shifty if you ask me. So, you can't go uh, to where you need to go first. You need to actually go through here. Or at least a little bit of it. There are switches on the wall. Fork over your goods? No man, not my goods. I'm not forking over nothing. Not to the likes of you. He's not even a rocket, he's just a burglar. Burglar Duncan. Um, yeah, he's got a coughing, level 23. A coughing, level 23. And can you guess it? Oh, not a coughing, but a Magmar, level 25. Yeah, whatever. Mercy! No, man, no mercy for you. Yeah, so there are these switches on the wall just north of that guy, but I want to fight the other trainers here and pick up the smoke ball, which can actually be handy if you're looking to run from wild Pokemon. If you equip that, it makes sure that your Pokemon can run from a wild Pokemon. Even if it's uh, slower than it. I know that can sometimes be a problem if you're walking around with, with a Pokemon and it's kind of slow, like my Slow King. Um, you know... It's a pain because you try to run from these wild Pokemon and it doesn't let you. Well, if you hold the smoke ball, it won't be an issue, which is really nice. So strong. Yeah, well, you're just so weak. You should just stay down here, man. Quahaha! <laughs> Confounded by the doors, are we? I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. Oh, really? A secret, huh? Well, I'm not confounded by the doors. I really don't even care. I just came back here to fight you and to take you out. That is my mission in life right now. Yeah, so coughing and muck. Wow, real original. Where have I seen this before? Ooh, I blew it. Ew, we blew it. Okay, what's your big secret, pal? All right, a hint. Look at the color of the door switches. You put your color switch and the same color door opens up. Oh, well, that's just great. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. All you need to do is press each one of these buttons exactly once and it will be open but you can kind of see how it works it can be rather confusing if you don't know what's going on but as long as you press each one once it'll open up in the end are you lost no you can't be you don't have this scared look i'll give you something to be scared about whoa she's got something to scare me huh well what have you got to scare me i'm pretty unscarable oh it's a gloom level 25 i'm not really scared Maybe a little depressed, a little gloomy. Oh, two glooms! Jeez, how could you? I don't know, how could I? The better question is, how could you? How could you use two glooms like that and have them be such a low level? So, over here we have another room that we need to look out. Well, not look out, but look at. <laughs> um, there's an Ultra Ball over here. Cool. I guess that's what I wanted, I don't know. And then, there's someone hiding behind that crate! You're not going any farther, I don't show any mercy to my enemies, especially brats! Oh, you call me a brat? Did you just call me a brat? Oh, man! You are going to regret that! You're gonna want to take back those words so hard! Oh. Alright, so you have Eradicate and a Gold Bat, not too shabby, better than a Rattat and a Zubat like that other guy had. Blast it! Blast it! Ah! <laughs> Right, whatever, pal. But they're still so low level that you don't even need to break a sweat. There's a max ether hiding over here. There might be some other items if you feel daring and use your item finder. Or dowsing machine or whatever. You got me good at her hideout! Oh, did I really? Oh, which one were you? The one that used the coughing or the one that used the ratata? I don't remember. Oh, the one that used the grimer. Right, I don't even remember fighting you, pal. Oh, and a wheezing? 
Oh, a wheezing. I should be scared, but it's only level 23, so I really don't care. Yup, yup, yup. That's how you did it. Yep, that's how we did it. <laughs> you got me, pal. <laughs> All right, so take him out, and then uh, don't go up those stairs, actually. That's an exit. We want to save that director guy, the real one. He's right down there. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. Whoa. Crazy. He's going to dispose of me. He's got a coughing, level 25, which I don't really think is going to dispose of anything. He's got another coughing. Also at level 25. Honestly, pal, how's that gonna dispose of anything? I got disposed of. Yes, you did. You're pretty disposable. You don't even have a name. You don't even have a name. You're just grunt. All right, so there's TM82, sleep talk right here, which may or may not be useful. And there's the director. Who, what, you came to rescue me? Radio tower, taken over by Team Rocket. Oh my, take this card key. Cool. Use that to open the shutters on 3F. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they can control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon. Wow, so the future of Pokemon rests in my hands. Um, that's not good. Well, maybe it is. Because these rockets are really weak, and apparently I'm really strong compared to them. So maybe I am the hero that Goldenrod deserves. So, on your way out, be sure to pick up that amulet coin. If you notice here, we're actually in the basement of the department store. Yeah, go figure, all that going on down there. Huh. Anyhow, so talk to her and she will take you up to whatever floor you want in the department store. I'm just gonna go to the first floor, just to see what's up, and uh, also to talk to this guy. Remember, you wanna talk to him periodically throughout the game, because you get cool stuff like the Moonstone, which can be used to evolve quite a few things. Most notably Nidorina and Nidorino at this point. So that's kinda neat. It'll also give you berries that your mom picked up, and these berries resist um, super effective attacks, which can be handy. Um, he kind of picks them up at random, or I think if you're hit by a super effective attack or something. I don't know, your mom's crazy like that. And she gets a hyper potion. There are cooler items, so you want to make sure you pick them up periodically throughout the game. Right, anyway. So, I've done all I need to there. I need to return to... The radio tower, which I think I will do as soon as I heal up my Pokemon. And I'll cover that on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Soul Silver Adventure.